There is a specific joy that comes with watching your favorite athlete. When you watch them, you feel like you are a part of their journey and success. And when this athlete is from your community and they compete in a little global competition called the Olympics, that is pride on another level. Chloe Kim is on another level. Literally, she is out there defying gravity on those mountains. Chloe exhibits both physical strength and strength in character, which has led to staggering success in sports and beyond. And it's clear she's just getting started. She's literally a kid. <laughs> and we couldn't celebrate Chloe without the support of the Pachanga Resort and Casino and their chief marketing officer, Bill Anderson. Thank you, Bill. <laughs> Thanks, Bill. <laughs> Let's take a closer look at Chloe shredding it up. Quite simply, Chloe Kim is the golden girl. She has won the Olympics. She has won the US Open. She has won the X Games. She pretty much wins whatever she enters. The youngest woman ever to win an Olympic snowboarding medal. Chloe Kim, two time Olympic gold medalist. Todd, I've always said when Chloe Kim is smiling, the rest of the field is crying because when she's in that good headspace where she's got her mojo going and feeling happy and loose, that's when she rides her very, very best. Now, I'll tell you what, based on how good she's been riding, this could be the gold medal run right here. Here we go, Chloe Kim dropping in the last competitor here in run number one, the defending Olympic gold medalist. Will this be the run that brings home the gold medal? Chloe Kim, is there any boundaries to what this athlete can achieve? I've said this before and I'll say it again. She is the present and the future of women's snowboarding. Chloe Kim is pushing this sport to new levels. So bad, hands, Craig. We have never seen that in the X Games pipe. On the women's side, Chloe Kim. Hi, how are you? That's it, ladies and gentlemen. That run right there, that is guaranteed gold. Chloe Kim! Character Media and also Pachanga Casinos for this. Kind of cool, I'm 22 now, so I'm getting awards from casinos. <laughs> nice, solid. Um, wow, I, I'm also winging the speech. I'm not good at speaking on a stage. Um, but I can't help but think that if little me saw me up here today on this big stage with pink hair in a pink dress in a room filled with amazing people that look just like her, Oh my goodness, what a dream. I feel like, I feel like I've been thinking about that girl a lot lately, um, little me. I think about how supportive her parents were. I think about how hard she worked. I think about how many times she'd been shut down, told no, told that she could not achieve anything, that she needs to go to school, become a doctor, Marry a rich husband? <laughs> no, thank you. <laughs> because I knew from a young age exactly what I wanted. I wanted a horse, I wanted to play on the monkey bars, and I wanted to win the Olympics. <laughs> and that is all I wanted to do. And if I could go back and tell little me that I would be standing here with two Olympic gold medals, being the first woman to ever do that in my sport, she would be speechless. Speechless, okay? Because no one thought that I would be able to do it. Nobody believed in me. Even some family members said, absolutely not, why would you do that? I'm surprised that my parents were like, yeah, let's do it. I mean, let's send our little girl off to do these crazy tricks and spins in the air and, you know, be in debt to medical bills. But <laughs> paid off, right, guys, parents? Um, so I think what I'm trying to get to is that you need to believe in yourself, 
right? And that's so cliche because everyone says that, but I mean it because I'm living proof that dreams come true. And you can accomplish whatever you put your mind to. And you're the only one that can decipher what your future looks like. And I'm so proud that I'm standing here today in front of all of you accepting this award because it means the world to me. I'm, I'm inspired by all of you. And I think I want everyone in this room to know that there's somebody out there that looks up to you. Somebody feels inspired because of you. Somebody feels seen, feels represented because of you. So please continue doing this incredible work for our next generation, for more Chloe Kims to come up feeling confident, feeling like they could take over the world because they deserve that. Our community deserves that. So thank you for all of your work, everyone. I'm so honored to be here. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Have a good night.